Good evening, family and friends. My name is Perla Cortez, and I'd like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Buena Vista High School class of 2020. Even during these unusual circumstances, we have a beautiful ceremony ahead of us tonight. And I would like to introduce Buena Vista High School counselor, Jose Mendez, who will play our national anthem. Hello, my name is Mr. Mendez. I'm the counselor at Buena Vista. I'll be doing the national anthem. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mendes. I know none of us expected our senior year to end like this. We had our disappointments and barriers that no other class had to go through, but we succeeded. This is our special night and we definitely deserve it considering all we've gone through and all we've done to get to this point. Now that I'm here, I have to admit, it went by so fast, just like my parents said it would. For me personally, returning to high school after having a child was not an easy decision. I was 17 years old with an eight month old baby. Even though I knew my credit situation was a mess, I didn't want to lose any moments with my son. But I honestly say transferring to Buena Vista High School was the best decision I've ever made. I want to take this moment to say thank you to my parents for helping me with Caden, and especially to my mom for taking care of him while I was in school. There's no way I could accomplish this journey without you. I also want to personally say thank you to Ms. Gray, Ms. Bryan, Mr. Mendez, Mr. Cervantes, and Mr. Ramos. You were all there when we needed someone to talk to when we were stressed about our credits or we simply didn't believe in ourselves. To all the teachers and staff of Buena Vista, thank you for going through this journey with us. Now I'd like to introduce the principal of Buena Vista High School, Maury Kasra. Good evening, members of the school board, district administrators, faculty, staff, parents, family members, friends, and most importantly, our students, the class of 2020. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 commencement ceremony for Buena Vista High School. Thank you, Perla Cortez, for your warm welcome this evening. Thank you also to Mr. Mendez for his beautiful rendition of our national anthem. I'd like to take a moment to recognize some people that have played an important role in making your graduation dreams come true. First, I'd like to recognize our Paramount Unified School District board members, School Board President Vivian Hansen, School Board Vice President Yesenia Corenta, School Board Member Sonia De Leon, School Board Member Linda Garcia, and School Board Member Carmen Gomez. I would also like to acknowledge Superintendent Dr. Ruth Perez and Assistant Superintendents Dr. Ryan Smith, Dr. Myrna Morales, Dr. Debbie Stark, and Mr. Ruben Frutos. I want to especially acknowledge the teachers and the support staff of Buena Vista High School for their ongoing efforts to support our students during these extraordinary times and under these unprecedented circumstances. On behalf of our students, their parents, and the Paramount Unified School District family, 
I thank each and every one of you for the roles you have played in getting our graduates here today. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our next set of speakers. First, we will hear from our school board members, and then Buena Vista High School student, Nathan Norgetta, will follow them. Greetings, graduates. First, I wanna congratulate all the graduates of 2020. This has been a remarkable year, one you never expected to end the way it has. One thing you can always count on, Paramount students are resilient and strong. Remember, this is only the, be the ending of one dream you work hard to make come true, and it's the first step to the next chapter of your life. Your dedication and persistence has paid off, and you are now free to make your own decisions. I have faith that you can and will achieve whatever you want in life. All you have to do is believe that you can. Chase your dreams, never stop trying, never stop learning, Live life to the fullest and give it nothing but your best. I have a challenge for you. Whatever your next steps are, do something you can be proud of. You may find that it has to be done with small baby steps, but it will still make a difference. I'm so proud of each and every one of you because you have proved you have the strength to face life's challenges. My favorite author is Dr. Sue, and as he says, Oh, the places you'll go. Today is your day. You're off to great places, so go on your way. Congratulations, Paramount graduates. Hello, class of 2020. This is your board member, Sonia De Leon, and I want to leave you with a few words. It has been widely repeated throughout time by philosophers, artists, scientists, legislators, and parents that educated youth are our future. If by future we mean progress in securing the general well being of our families, our cities, our communities, our nation, then it is impossible to conceive of a better future without an educated youth. Today, your commitment and resolve to be educated are being harshly tested by this tragic historic moment that has taken your education outside of the classrooms. And now, more than ever, your education has depended on the collective efforts of parents, teachers, administration, administrators, legislators, and most importantly, your resolve. Yet in spite of the severe obstacles that this pandemic has imposed on your learning, you, class of 2020, have endured. Your strong commitment to learning in order to secure a better future for you, your loved ones, and for our nation has successfully brought you to this important phase of your life, high school graduation. Thanks to your love of learning, to your endurance during these trying times for all humanity, you have climbed higher on the great mountain called the future. Congratulations on your well-deserved diploma. Today, as you proudly graduate class of 2020, I'm extremely optimistic and confident that thanks to your love of learning, the future of your families and community is brighter as they will surely benefit from the fruits of your knowledge and talents. Congratulations to you, your families, on your well-deserved diploma. Salute to you, our future. Thank you. Good evening, class of 2020. It is with great pleasure and pride that I stand before you such a dynamic and wonderful group of students. Not only am I here to congratulate you on one of your greatest achievements, but I am also here to commend you, taking on a hand that was dealt to you in these unprecedented times and continue to strive for greatness. It would have been so easy for every single one of you to give up, but instead, we are here today because despite the struggle that you faced, you each still preserved. And that is a lesson that you can take with you throughout the rest of your life. Although this may not be the graduation you imagined, it's still a very important day in your life. It marks the transition into the next phase of your life, a phase that we at Paramount have assisted in grooming you for. And it is a pleasure an honor to be here with you, even if it is not in person, to mark this very special occasion. 
So class of 2020, when you look back on this day, whether it's for a few months from now or a few years from now, know that your class was special. You may not have done everything the traditional way, but you held your heads high, got through the darkness, and never failed to show your paramount pride. To our Buena Vista graduates, I say, soar like an eagle. And to our Paramount grads, I say, once a pirate, always a pirate. I would like to congratulate the class of 2020 on all your accomplishments on this momentous day as you graduate and receive your high school diploma. 2020 will be forever remembered in our nation's history for the many sacrifices made by all of you and of those on the front line fighting COVID-19. Many of us have lived through tragic events in our nation's history and know that we will emerge as a strong community. I wish all of you great success today and in all your future endeavors. Go Eagles! Hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nathan Nogueira. I'm from Southgate, California. My life growing up was... it was pretty quiet. Nothing too interesting or exciting. It was kind of wild since I was a wacky kid though, so that was fun. In my earlier days of school, I usually kept to myself and that hasn't changed much. With school, I struggled a lot, mainly just homework. But one thing, one thing I did love in school was drawing and that stuck with me all through the years. During my middle school years, I started to struggle with my work ethic. Mostly when it came to doing schoolwork or homework, because I'm just kind of slow when it comes to things. But once I get it down, I got it down. This was the big thing that destroyed my grades. I was a lazy kid when it came to work, and it was messing up my academic life. I'm not going to say I was lazy. Let's just say I was selective with my schoolwork productivity. During 8th and 11th grade, school was something I had to do. I really didn't enjoy it or find it interesting. School was just something that had to happen to all teenagers. When the counselor told me that I have to leave to Buena Vista, my thoughts were, I don't know anyone. This sucks. I have to make a whole new start. When I did get here, it was very surprising when I did get here since everyone was so nice. For example, on my first day of school, my first period was Mr. Moretti, who was a familiar face because it's, he had subbed at Paramount High School. When I first went into the office, you know, when you're going to a new place, you don't expect to see anyone else new. I saw someone I knew. It was the old health technician that went to my middle school. So to see her was a little funny since I had always went to the health office a lot. So seeing her was also comforting to know that I'm not here completely alone. She always been welcoming and kind, and to this day, she's still welcoming and kind. Just like Buena Vista High School. My math teacher, Mr. Ramos, has always been available to help me with any math problems I had questions on. He made himself available at lunch when I sometimes would just go to hang out. Also, there was my entrepreneurship teacher, Mr. Torres. I always have wacky and out of the box ideas and he didn't find it weird at all. He just told me to go deeper into them, find out what I can get from them. And how can I forget Mr. Grace, my language arts teacher. He's someone who I connected with a lot since we both have a love for comic books and video games. The grade I got in his class was a direct result of the bridge that I made with him. My view on school now is better than when it first started. I always viewed school as something that just had to be done. People had to go, you have to go learn, whatever. But my views now, they're way better. I am actually wanting to go to school because I can meet cool people, I can learn new skills. So yeah, I got this. This is gonna be a cakewalk. I plan to attend college and major in computer science. 
and maybe minor in culinary arts and art. I'll eventually work towards getting a doctorate so I can call myself a doctor. And I would like to thank my friends and family since I probably wouldn't have gotten here without you. Thank you, Buena Vista, for my opportunity to share my story. And I'd like to welcome our next speaker, Melissa Montano. My fellow classmates, we are here today to celebrate our success and acknowledge what we have done. All the mountains we have climbed, all the stars we have reached, and all the obstacles we have faced. I want to congratulate every one of you. Class of 2020, we are hard workers, we are determined, we are diligent, and overall we are strong and soaring. I want you all to continue to do well because it only gets difficult, but I know you could all do it. We have faced many difficult times throughout this school year, but we have persevered with the guidance of the best teachers, counselors, staff, classmates, and principal. My experience at Buena Vista High School has been exceptional. I, I have had an abundant amount of support and smiles from everyone around me, which my past sadly didn't embrace. I truly believe I was not going to finish high school because of my past, but I made the choice to attend Buena Vista and join the Eagle family. Definitely one of the best choices I've made. My message to all of you is to continue to strive and carry on doing your best. Your future is in your hands and it's up to you to reach and achieve it. Throughout all the social distancing and working from home, you have continued to log in and complete your work. I understand that this situation is new and definitely something we did not expect for our senior year. But like I said, we are all strivers and we won't let this current situation overcome our year. We are the class of 2020, let's not forget it. Instead of being remorseful, let's all enjoy this moment. I am glad to be a member of the class of 2020 and I hope you are as well. Wishing nothing but the best of what's coming to you in your future. Congratulations, Eagle, we did it. Please welcome our next speaker, Priscilla Navarro. Hello, class of 2020. I am very honored and grateful for standing here in front of everyone and being able to give this speech, a speech that I never thought I would be giving. We have accomplished one of the most important milestones in our life, high school graduation. This is a major step in the journey of our lives, one that should be recognized for its huge accomplishments. It is an act not only for personal commitment, but also one of your pride. We all worked hard to get to this day, and our work did not go to waste. A high school diploma is a wonderful tool in this world, one that opens many doors of opportunity for anyone who works hard enough to receive one. Throughout the years, I have overcome different obstacles and battles during high school. During my last year of high school, I was transferred to Buena Vista as a senior and soon to be a mom. I knew it would not be easy, but I am thankful for having amazing teachers and staff to help me through it. Due to having my son and having nobody to watch him, I transferred to independent studies at Buena Vista. Being home with my son and doing school work was not always easy, but I knew that with the support of my family and my teachers and counselors, anything was possible. A quote that inspires me, you're always one decision away from a totally different life. We all have choices in, in this life and there were two choices I could have made, which were to drop out or continue school. I chose to go for my high school diploma. That choice has changed my life in many different ways and will open doors to great opportunities for my future. The people I am thankful for having are my parents and my siblings, who have pushed me and always showed me to never give up. I was at a point in high school that I was ready to give up and throw it all away. But I remember what my parents have always told me, hard work pays off. I knew that behind the struggles and late nights, staying up and doing homework and taking care of my son, that all this was going to be worth it. Most importantly, I am mostly thankful for my son because he has shown me so much in the past two years. He has been my motivation to never give up and not just because I'm doing something good for myself, but for him as well. I want to give him a good life, a great life that he deserves. I've always had so many doubts and negative people constantly telling me that by being a single mother, I was not going to make it at the end of high school. But I am glad to, that I'm standing here today, a high school graduate. Class of 2020, I wish you all the great success with your dreams and career. Anything is possible, all you have to do is believe in yourself and do the work. 
wishing you all the best in what lies ahead and good luck. At this time, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce you to the Paramount Unified School District Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Ruth Perez. Dear graduating class of 2020, today marks the end of a chapter and a significant milestone on the path to adulthood. You have worked very hard for this moment, putting in countless hours of studying, learning, and growing. When I think about the class of 2020, I think about the stories of overcoming obstacles, hard work, accomplishments, and celebration. In you, I see our future leaders who will live their lives with purpose and make a difference in our world. I want to congratulate each and every one of you for making it to this moment when you can rejoice in your perseverance and success, when you can celebrate with your parents and families for their sacrifices and support in helping you reach this dream. You've proven to your family, your teachers, and your peers that nothing will prevent your success. You've inspired all of us with your passion and dedication to go above and beyond your academic and personal goals. At this time in your lives, it is natural to feel excited and apprehensive of the future. It's natural to want to spring forward in the next phase, and it's equally natural to want to start again in kindergarten when everything felt safe and familiar. Though today you may feel uncertain about what is to come, I challenge you to take on every obstacle with the same commitment you apply to your years as a Paramount Unified student. The knowledge and skills you have acquired throughout these years will ensure you achieve your goals and reach new levels of success. This is not only a momentous occasion for you and your loved ones, but also a significant moment in our world's history. The storm we have weathered since the start of 2020 as a district, a country, and a global community has seemed insurmountable at times. However, it is you, the class of 2020, our youth and leaders of a new and better world, who keep us hopeful, energized, and inspired to continue pushing forward on the path to excellence. I want to thank you for your patience and support as we navigated the school year, overcame challenges together, and learned to adapt to a distance learning instructional model. We came out stronger and will continue to rise together. We know that the final days of your senior year look different from what you dreamed of, and that this day of celebration is not what you or any of us in Paramount Unified envisions for you. Like you, we are saddened that we cannot be together to honor you in our traditional manner. But we want you to know that we stand by you, support you, and honor you as you prepare for the next phase of your life. As the graduating class of 2020 works for years to get to this point, your teachers, counselors, administrators, and district leaders watched and celebrated with you in your achievement. We are proud to have such incredible students represent Paramount Unified because we know you possess a focus and strength of will that serve you well as you face the challenges of today and tomorrow. The class of 2020 will be known for years to come as one of endurance, strength, and resilience. Now more than ever, your community and surrounding world need you. You have acquired the tools and resources in your classes and develop the vision and ambition with your peers and teachers. Now is the time when you gather everything you have learned at Paramount Unified to go out and be a positive change because this world needs every one of you. During this moment in history, stay clear-headed and take a deep breath. Have faith in your path and work for the common good. You have the power to help better the world for generations to come. To face this decade and prosper, we need your passions and morals, your intelligence and strength. We need you for your unique experiences that will shape a future that is sustainable for all. To our class of 2020, always remember that you can help and heal those around you in any field 
profession or path that you choose. We are exceptionally proud of you and cannot wait to witness how you shape the future for us all. On behalf of Paramount Unified School District, the Board of Education, and myself, your superintendent, we wish you all the best and so many blessings. God bless you. Class of 2020, you are here. Not at the end of your journey, but at the beginning of the rest of your life. You have experienced a great deal of success under extraordinary circumstances, which no one ever imagined. Your resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to us all. That no matter what, you got this. We haven't seen each other for three months. And as I think about you now and remember your faces, I remember that every one of you has worked diligently to get here. Your perseverance and resolve have served you well. On behalf of our Buena Vista family, all of our teachers, counselors, and staff members, I say we miss you. We miss the way you walk onto campus and into our classrooms with a smile on your face, a good morning in your voice, and the determination to get it done. We miss the way you watch out for one another and pick each other up when one of you stumbles. We miss the way you say, can I help you with that? There are so many moments that we have shared with you every day that we used to take for granted, and we miss those dearly. But most importantly, we miss you, the students of the class of 2020. But today is about celebrating, recognizing, and moving forward. So today, we celebrate your success, we recognize your accomplishments, and we remind you but as you venture out from the safety and security that you have come to know at Buena Vista High School, we still have your back. I remind you that we're only a phone call, email, or text message away. As you continue your journey, I encourage you to remember the lesson learned during this unprecedented year, that no matter what your future brings, you got this. While you have had to make sacrifices during this, your senior year, sacrifices which no other class has had to make. You have done so with grace and dignity. You have continued to work through the challenges set before you, and today that work has paid off. Today, you become high school graduates. Hold your heads up high, for throughout these unprecedented and challenging times, you have soared to new heights. I challenge you to never relent to use that same soaring spirit that you have used during your time at Buena Vista. Always strive to be your very best, even though you'll need to work harder. Organize your life to get the most out of every experience. Always attend to the important things first. Respect yourselves first, for it is through self-respect that we become better humans, better citizens of the world. You will need these attributes as you go out into the world and become leaders and active agents for change. The class of 2020 will forever hold a special place in our memories, in our hearts, and in our souls. We wish you the very best moving forward. Dr. Perez, it is with great honor that I commend these candidates to you as future leaders of our community, our nation, and the world. They are a credit to themselves, to their parents, to their teachers, to Buena Vista High School, and to the Paramount Unified School District. I declare that all have met the requirements of the State Board of Education, the Education Code, as well as those requirements set forth by the Board of Education of the Paramount Unified School District, and that they are duly certified to be graduates from Buena Vista High School upon the presentation of their diplomas. On behalf of the Paramount Unified School District Board of Education, I accept these students who have met the requirements set forth by the Board of Education as graduates of Buena Vista High School for this 2020 school year. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Perez. We will now present the Buena Vista High School class of 2020 graduates. Isaac Aguilar. Shayla Algala. Angel 
Alvarado. Hazel Angulo. Donovan Arce. Astrid Armijo. Nathaniel Avalos. Melanie Avendano. Salvador Ayala. George Baranda. Adan Barrios. Katia Batista. Saul Benincourt. Jaime Romanos. Ethan Brenna. Joshua Pentado. Isana Percy. David Campos. Christopher Carrillo. Sebastian Cassian. Andrew Castrejon. Valeria Chavez. Julian Chu. Angel Corona. Erla Cortez. Samantha Torrubias. Elijah Juan Davis. Stephen De La Vega. Kately Delgado. Carlos Diaz. Caesar Spitia. Angel Fajardo. Kira Fox. William Flores. Osvaldo Galas. Alan Gallardo. Ashley Gallegos. Miguel Garcia. Chantel Jack Garcia. Jose Gasca. Areli Gonzalez. Destiny Gonzalez. Leopoldo Gonzalez. Adrian Granadino. Daisy Urola. Sydney Hats. Christopher Hayes. Johnny Hernandez. Valeria Hernandez. Layla Honey. Clarissa Huerta. Alexis Johnson. Brianna Johnson. Darius Johnson. Melvin Johnson. Michelle Juarez. Daniel Lopez. Daniel Lopez. Cassandra Magana. Isabella Martinez. Jacob Martinez. Catherine Martinez. Michaela Martinez. 
Edwin Martinez Rodriguez. Alejandro Medina. Stephanie Mejia. Anessa Mendoza. Jessica Mendoza. Mitzi Meredith. Melissa Montano. Silas Moran. Elsa Mota. Cassandra Mundo. Arman Nava. Rigoberto Nava. Priscilla Navarro. Nathan Noguera. Giselle Osuna. Jesus Padilla. Anthony Perez. Janessa Perez. Salvador Perez. Miles Phillips. Ralph Pickett. Angel Ramirez Carillo. Jacob Ramirez. Mariana Ramirez. Jesus Ramirez Lambrano. Angel Rangel. Gabriel Reyes. Hola Escala. Aaron Rios. Andrea Rivas. Edgar Rodriguez. Devon Rodriguez Mendoza. Ruby Rodriguez. Salvador Rodriguez. Monica Rodriguez Urbina. Anaya Ross. Daniel Sackovic. Giselle Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez. Xavier Sanchez. Alexis Sandoval. Mariana Sandoval. Justina Sellers. Alan Tavares. Angel Teodoro. Nicholas Thomas. Xavier Thomas. Ashley Toledo. Isaac Torres. Jonathan Torres. Anthony Urrutia. Edwin Valenzuela. Alexia Varela. Giovanni Vasquez. Giselle Velasquez. Saúl Villarreal. Julio Villaverde. Ruben Viveros. Rikia Walker. Malik Woodard. 
Jesus Lombrano, and Carla Zadarain. Class of 2020, you are now officially acknowledged as graduates. Congratulations. To say a few closing words, I would like to recognize one of Buena Vista High School's 2020 graduates, Mitzi Meredith. Greetings, class of 2020, parents and families, Buena Vista High School staff, Dr. Perez, and Executive Cabinet and Board of Education. As you all know, I'm Mitzi Meredith, and for those who don't, now you do. I'm 17 years old, born and raised in Compton, California. My childhood was kind of hard because coming from where I come from, you were taught to be tough. But my household was different. My mother spoiled and coddled me as a child, so during my elementary years, I was sociable when I needed to be, but I preferred isolation. When I did talk to people, I amazed them with my intelligence and potential. In the eighth grade, I was childish, vulnerable, and immature, just like any other young person. But I was guided by my principal to see the benefits of taking my education more seriously. I then pursued my education further at Compton High School. There I was tested by my surroundings and my peers, but I managed to persevere and continue on my educational journey. I later moved to Paramount, California, where I eventually started attending Paramount High School. I began to progress in my education more, as well as develop a, mer a very memorable personality on campus. I later passed on to the senior campus where some already knew my name because of how energetic of a person I was. Later, I was selected to go to Buena Vista High School because I had a moment of relapse. It steered off my path with education. I started ditching for fun just once. That day turned into many. Therefore, my grades declined. I will only do good in the classes I liked. But throughout my time at Buena Vista, I learned to never give up on myself, no matter the circumstances. When I began attending Buena Vista High School, I didn't expect to be standing here right now, especially mourning the loss of a parent and an amazing friend, Michaela Fleming, who is now gone from our sight, but never from our hearts. To the class of 2020, stay just like me. Don't give up on yourself, no matter what the circumstances are. Seek help from others if you're ever feeling overwhelmed and don't ever be afraid to ask questions. This concludes our digital graduation ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Torres and Mr. Grace for your digital magic in creating this digital ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Perez, Mr. Cosgroff, and the Board of Education for leading in such extraordinary and challenging times. Thank you to all PUSD for helping make this happen. Good night.